Joining us is former presidential candidate Dr. Ben Carson is here. Always good to have you, sir. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you, Sandra. All right, what yeah, do you absolutely. make of all of this? It just seems like daily there is something breaking with the connection between the Clinton Family Foundation and Hillary Clinton's time in the State Department. What do you make of the latest news? Well, of course, they will say it's all just a coincidence and everything is just fine and this doesn't mean anything and it's old news. My problem with all of this is that it demonstrates incredibly poor judgment. Uh, knowing that you're going to be in the political arena, that you're going to be running for president, why would you even want to have the appearance of wrongdoing? And, and this is a pattern. You know, we've, we've seen that with the, with the private server. Uh, with the answers with Benghazi, with so many things over the course of time that demonstrate incredibly poor judgment. And, Doctor, wasn't and it an again, admission in and of itself uh, for, for, for the Hillary Clinton campaign to say if she's elected president, they won't accept any more foreign donations to the foundation because of that conflict? Well, right. but, she was the, but, but, but the foundation was accepting those foreign donations when she was Secretary of State. So why was it okay then? Uh, of course. Well, it, obviously it wasn't okay, <laughs> and it isn't okay. And, you know, at some point, we have to bring back common sense. Mm -hmm. That seems to be something that's missing. You know, in the real world, if somebody has such poor judgment and they're in an executive position, you send them for remedial training, you demote them, you fire right. them. You don't promote them to CEO. This is what we seem to be advocating, and it so, doesn't make any sense. Dr. Carson, I want to get to the Clinton campaign's response to this AP report. They are saying, in part, quote, this story relies on utterly flawed data. It cherry-picked a limited uh, subset of Secretary Clinton's schedule to give a distorted portrayal of how often she crossed paths with individuals connected to charitable donations to the Clinton Foundation. They went on to say it omits more than 1,700 meetings she took with world leaders. Dr. Carson, before I get the panel in here for a minute, I just have to ask you, why is it, it when Republicans say they have so much on her, why they're not making any ground? Why, why is this message not resonating with voters and why is it not helping Donald Trump in the polls? Well, that is, that is an essential question because it goes to the heart of what is happening with our country. We have reached a point of moral decay where we don't care when we see obvious dishonesty. Mm. And what does that say for our future? I don't think it's too late to turn it around, but if we continue down this pathway for much further, I think our days are numbered. Dr. Hi, it's Julie Roginsky. I mean, speaking of obvious dishonesty, you had uh, one of your colleagues, Mayor Rudy Giuliani, diagnose Hillary Clinton as, as being sick based on internet reports that he read. You're a physician and one of the most accomplished physicians in the country. Tell me, as a doctor, do you really think it's appropriate to be diagnosing anybody based on internet reports? Well, certainly no physician is likely to do that. We're going to want to see the, the actual data. Uh, I suspect that, that uh, Rudy Giuliani, who I know, he's a, he's a good, solid guy, but, uh, you know, he's speculating. As many people speculate on both sides about things, obviously we need to apply real data. And that's why I've said anybody who's elderly, and that includes both of our major candidates, should have their records available for us to examine because it's a very difficult job being president of the United mm -hmm. States. It's not a, an eight-hour-a-day job. It's 24-7 with high stress, mm -hmm. and you need to make sure that you have somebody who's going to be able to handle that. All right, Dr. Carson. Both it, candidates it, should it, do that. Immigration has been a hot topic for Donald Trump. I want to get to the latest on his immigration stance following the nominee's comments last night. Listen. And there certainly can be a softening because we're not looking to hurt people. We want people. We have some great people in this country. We have some great, great people in this country. So, but we're going to follow the laws of this country. Interesting to actually hear him say that word about his immigration policy, that he's softening. Doctor. Well, what, what he's really saying, and I think it actually makes a lot of sense, it should make sense to both Republicans and Democrats, is, you know, we have not actually tried applying the laws that we have on the books. Let's apply the laws and then let's see what's left that needs to be addressed at that point. 
And I think that's a very, very valid way to do things. He's talking to advisors. He's listening to people. And, and this should give comfort to everybody, including the Democrats, that he's not a wild man who just goes off with ideals, but he actually listens <laughs> to people. And he integrates that into what he's going to do. Yeah. They're going to want to get you in here as well. Uh, no, D Dr. Carson, it's good to see you. But do you think that, it, again, depending on the language that he uses in the days to come, does he need to worry about alienating his most loyal supporters, those very individuals in some of the Rust Belt states that he has to have in order to have a path to victory? Well, I'll, I'll tell you. There are 30 percent of people who are going to vote for him no matter what. There's 30 percent of people who are going to vote for Hillary no matter what. And you've got the people in the middle that you're going to have to concentrate on. They tend to start paying attention about six weeks before the election. Um, and, of course, he has to appeal to all of those. But I don't think he has to worry about losing his base. They know his heart. And they know that he is not going to allow illegal immigration to be the problem that it has and been. And Dr. Carson, real quick, I wanted to get your take as, as we continue to watch the, uh, the cleanup efforts down in Louisiana. Uh, President Obama did visit the region. Do you believe Hillary Clinton needs to, to go down there? Donald Trump was first on the ground. Is that important? Well, I think it, it's, it's important to the people who are there. They need to know that you feel their pain. Mm. You know, I, I was proud of Donald Trump for going there. I, I'm glad that the president eventually got there, too. And it would be wonderful if Hillary Clinton would go down there, too. These are Americans down there who are suffering. They're not Democrats or Republicans. They're Americans. We all need to be highly concerned about what's happening to them. All right. Dr. Ben Carson, thanks for joining us this morning. Good to have you. Always a pleasure. Thank you, Sandra. All right.